Mallee Root committee member Barry McGee, that's him holding the root, and league legend Ron Crow want to introduce the world to West Wyalong and the art of Mallee Root throwing. The state titles held here on Australia Day generated a great deal of interest. We uh, had some dedicated rooters there that wanted to test out their ability at tossing the root. And although it was a hard sport to practice for, people soon got the hang of it. And the distance of the root thrown was extended quite significantly the second time around. Especially the women, their first root was, was very ordinary, but once they got into that bit of routine, they, they got on top of it and came metres ahead. I'm told the West Wyalong Mallee route is a good competition route and that it performed well at the New South Wales Championships and they'll be looking to source several more locally for the upcoming national championships that will be held here in August. A good Mallee route is uh, one that uh, is solid. We don't want it breaking down halfway through the competition. If a piece breaks off it, the weight reduces from nine kilos. We supply them. We, we can't have anyone bring their own routes for obvious reasons, they could uh, amend them, lighten them, practice with them. Yes, we have uh, three or four routes and uh, you can uh, pick whatever you, one you like. But the popularity of the event will mean competitors will have to qualify. Because we couldn't have it going all day, there was no way we could keep people there rooting all day, so we had to restrict it down and if it need be we'll have a route elimination up at the national championships. Local lad Andrew Scott took out the state title and interstate routers have him in their sights. I understand that they've actually gone and secured a couple of routes themselves and are practising heavily in it to try and get past that current record of 8.2 metres. Sam Cunningham, Prime Local News.